Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking. So in this video, we're going to plan how to create Active Directory users and give them permissions so that they, they can carry out uh, maybe an uh, administrative task or just a normal user task, okay? All right, so in the previous video, we learned how to uh, add roles and features such as ADDS and DNS service, right? So in this video, we're going to create Active Directory users, okay? And groups. So we're going to create a groups. We're going to create groups and add users to those particular groups. So for example, we're going to have a group for admin. We're going to use, uh, add a group for maybe employees and also for IT users, okay? And have users in those particular groups and also assign those particular users privileges or permissions, right? Okay, so without any further ado, let's start this one. So to add users, you just click on the on the right top tools here. Okay, just click there. And then choose Active Directory Users and Computer, right? Then we want to add users to our domain here, okay? Our domain is gtech.com. So you can choose to click it, all right? Then you will see all the or use organizational units plus containers that are under this domain, right? So we want to add actually groups. So for example, for users under admin, we're going to have organizational unit called the admin. So to add organizational unit, just click there, right click, right click. After clicking uh, your domain, or you can just right click on your domain direct and come to new and add organizational unit and say admin users okay and hit okay so under admin user let's get another OU or group yep so I've created how many OUs or groups three groups admin users employees and IT users so under admin user, let's create, we're going to create uh, a user there, okay? And assign it uh, admin privileges. So just create click. When you click on that OU or the group, this a group, you come, you see there's no item under this OU. So just right click on that white, white space and go to new and create a user, okay? And say this is uh, maybe admin admin test okay so the login the login uh, name will be maybe test uh test admin right test admin and the domain name will be gtech.test right go next and password uh, i don't want to change password in the next login but for maybe employees you can mm, are required to change the password so in this case i'm just going to put my i uh, my normal password that I normally use. Okay, so for this, uh, this is an admin, uh, maybe admin users. So, okay, you can say the password cannot be changed or password never expires. So I'm going to uh, escape that the, those settings. Go next and finish, right? So we have admin test under admin user organizational unit. So let's go to your employees and get another uh, user here. So, um, test employee. Okay. So I'm just going to say test emp. Okay. Go next. And, uh, okay. So for this being that these are a normal employee, they should change password the next logon. Okay. All right. So finish that one. Then finally, IT users. So these are our IT guys, maybe. Get. Okay, so IT user, they don't need to change password on the next logon. So I'll skip that part, that part and finish, okay? So actually we have uh, three user groups, admin users, employees, and T users. So for admin user, I'm going to give them a full privilege, okay? IT users, Maybe rest, some restriction, okay? 
right so this may be administrator sys, sys administrator okay so to assign that particular user uh, privileges or permission just right click and come to properties okay then go to member of okay then add just say admin just write admin and check names administrators okay then another one i'm going to say domain uh admin let me check check names domain admins right then another one i'm going to say enterprise enterprise admins yeah and enterprise admins okay so when i have administrators domain admin and enterprise admin i think that will be enough in this use case just I click ok and you see that this user tested admin test actually is a member of these particular groups okay and just apply and ok ok so we go under employees just right click it and come to properties then member of so in this case we just want this test admin user to be just a normal user without any privileges so we don't need to actually add um, much permission to this user because it's already in the default actually in the default group the domain users okay all right so to test this we want to um okay so guys to test whether uh, the users that we've created can log in and carry out an administrative tasks to our uh, maybe our resources we will need to test with our uh, windows 10 client here remember this Windows 10 client, unfortunately, it has not been joined to the domain. Okay, so for us to test, we have to ensure that this Windows 10 client is joined to our domain to our Active Directory. Okay, then we can try to log into this Windows 10. Okay, using the two users or the three users that we've created here. Right, okay, so in the next video, we are going to join this Windows 10. To our domain to our active directory okay then log in using the admin and the test employee accounts that you've created okay all right thank you so much guys and let's see you in the next video thank you bye